Hi friends, we are starting a face to face offline batch in Bangalore with SS Academy. That is for CA final financial reporting paper number one. I yeah, will be taking exactly two months from 1st November to 31st December. We will complete it. It is starting from 1st November 2022. Yes, and in Jayanagara branch of SS Academy, we have morning batch and evening batch will be at Seshadripuram SS Academy. Right. And if the student is missing because of any reasons, right, they are going to get a backup class. All right, we'll ensure that their things, I mean, they will study and complete. And from the face to face batch, you know the benefits out of it. We'll be completing the syllabus in time. You don't need to postpone and you don't need to compromise for your goals. See you in the class. Please share this information with your friends. That will help me and as well. Thank you. Next, for my books, that is an index made easy, our financial reporting made easy, and fast track summary book. Yes, you can uh, order in ravikantmiriala.com or you can contact the given number for the books. Right. For, your, for your doubts, clarification, please join the Telegram group, Indias Discussion Group, RKM. These charts are from my book. Quick Revision Fast Track Chart Book on Financial Reporting, which is available in my website that is ravikantmiriala.com and it is available in the market. Let us look at India's 108 operating segment. What is operating segments? When, when we say it is a operating segment when it satisfies three conditions. One, is that component is able to generate revenue? I mean, can it? It has the ability to generate. So, suppose if it is a startup, even though in the current year it has not generated any revenue, but it has the capability, then you should consider it. Right. Second point is the results of it. The results of it should be reviewed by the CODM, Chief Operating Decision Maker. That can be a CEO, that can be board, that can be chairman. I mean, any, um, I mean, uh, is like, chief operating decision maker it is not the position name it is the designation i mean it is not a designation it is a position okay right uh, so that i mean that part codm must be reviewing for decision making with respect to allocation of the funds funds for the growth of the segment or right that thing and the third thing is discrete financial information must be available that means for the segment you should be able to prepare the financial statements only then i say if you satisfy all the three conditions then i say it is an operating segment right is that every operating segment is going to be considered as a reportable reportable segment no straight away no yeah a operating segment will become reportable segment right because of I mean a quantitative, I mean a quality, right, one is, uh, sorry, qualitative threshold. There are again five conditions are there. If you satisfy any one of the five conditions, if you fall under any one of the conditions, then you will be, I mean that information will be presented as a reportable segment as a separate column. There is an operating segment, sir, but it is not reportable, sir. Then we will be having one more column called other segments. There we will club such kind of segments and show it, right. And sir, how many operating segments one company can have? The standard says the maximum, I mean maximum limit should be 10. I mean once it is getting crossed 10, more than 10 reportable segments, management should take a call. Does it really lead to the more information or confusion? Okay, right. And before going to this, my dear, aggregation criteria is something. I mean same, same recent rewards, I mean the same recent rewards having segments, can be combined combined which has the similar economic characteristics and which are in which are consistent with respect to their core principles that is by way of its nature of production i mean nature of customers i mean uh, regulations on these uh, segments are same considering this you may club it and consider it as one segment then you test for quantitative threshold okay sorry what is quantitative threshold the segment revenue i mean you will be testing for one segment whether this segment is a reportable segment 
if the segment revenue is greater than or equal to 10 percent of all segments revenue remember it is all segments revenue but not the entity revenue because segment revenue includes external revenue and internal revenue that means inter segment revenue also is a part and parcel right and the second condition is segment assets segment assets are greater than or equal to 10 percentage of total segment assets okay right next third one segment results that may be profit or loss are greater than or equal to 10 percentage of 10 percentage of segment profits or segment losses which are in absolute numbers which are in absolute number whichever is higher is supposed to be taken and the third one is it is a professional judgment of the management that is the management discretion basically it is a management discretion basically okay if the management decides even though it does not satisfy the about 10 percentage of segment revenue segment asset segment results uh, if they decide we wanted to show it as a reportable segment they can show it and the fifth one and the fifth one the reportable so far selected reportable segments external revenue external revenue presented from the reportable segment should be greater than or equal to 75 percent of the entity revenue entity revenue means again this is also from the external parties right under that circumstance i mean that is the fifth condition you have to check it suppose it is, we are not crossing 75 percent if you say if you are not crossing 75 percent if you say then you may need to add uh, some more number of segments so that we will we will comply with 75 percent criteria and as you know in days 108 is a basically disclosure standard what are the disclosures only general disclosure next is specific disclosure and the last one is reconciliation statements you are supposed to provide general disclosure in the sense what i mean what all the segments you added I mean the uh, aggregation criteria correct now which segments you added and made, made as one segment and what are all the uh, business segments means which are all the products and services you have which are all the geographical segments you have that information is supposed to be provided in general that is general information criteria and second part B if I say you have to tell segment revenue and you have to i mean segment revenue that is uh, inter segment revenue external segment external customer core revenue segment assets segment liabilities segment results right expenses again expenditure which are non cash expenditure i mean other than depreciation and amortization expenditure and the capital expenditure in the current year i mean the, which is uh, capital expenditure in the current year only that information also you are supposed to provide it reconciliation if you say total segment assets sir, the total segment assets will not be tallying with the balance sheet total assets because obviously financing assets are not segment assets correct now hu assets will not be part of segment assets so those assets may not be they not are not included in the segment assets now you should say segment assets plus which are not allocated to segment assets add it then you should link this total number total number with the balance sheet total like that you are supposed to do with respect to assets with respect to sales with respect to profits with respect to liabilities with respect to all other material items one needs to give a linkage which is necessary which is necessary and few things will be required if codm is reviewing like that you should provide it otherwise you don't need to provide any other information right see uh, if suppose uh, CODM changed, I mean the reporting structure of the entity only changed. Under that circumstance, you need to change. I mean the I can say in simple word, MIS report only changed. MIS report changed, then you need to change retro. I mean previously whatever you have done. Suppose the previous year CEO was different. The way he was asking the information was different. Correct now. Now current year CFO, I mean CEO is asking different information. His MIS report is only getting changed because of this. There may be segments information also may change. Obviously, right under that circumstance, previously whatever you presented also needs to be restated. Restated. This may happen because of the internal reorganization or change in the uh, change in the management or CODM situation also may lead to take place. Thank you very much and wish you the very best.